Hi, good evening. Welcome to our program, Hour of Power, as we experience the power of prayer. I'm your host, Pastor Emiliano Biamela, and with me we have uh, Sister Chantel Neal. Good night, okay, everyone. So, um, we want to remind you that the number to call is 613-9351, 613-9351. And we, have, we are on different platforms, uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and Channel 98 on Central Cable TV. Amen. So please share it. We want to take a, a few seconds, take a few seconds right there where you are, share it to all your contacts, through WhatsApp, through um, Messenger, any way that you can. Share it. There is a blessing to be received. Amen. Amen. And today we continue the prayer sessions. We just yeah. finished 100 days of prayer. That was and, a wonderful experience, mm -hmm. right? And now we're, we're embarking on a, well, it already began, 40 days of prayer. So this year we have no excuse to not pray. And we know that we need prayer so amen, badly. Amen. Right? I love it. I love it, Pastor, because we always take prayer for granted. But one thing I could say about our, our, our union or our conference, even our general conference level, we see the need for prayer. And um, we're definitely taking out the time to pray because we know the value and the power amen. of it. And so with that said, we're going to begin with prayer. All right. So go ahead, Sister Chantel. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal Father in heaven, we give you thanks for seeing us through another day. We give you thanks, Lord, that we could be here tonight on this platform to lift up your name. Lord, as we're here, we invite your Holy Spirit presence to be in our midst. I pray, God, that the, what the discussion we have to share, Lord, that it will be a blessing. Yes. Father, we also want to pray as well for those, Lord, who will send in their prayer requests tonight that mm -hmm. as they come in that and as we pray that prayers will be answered lord that victory will be won according to your will we thank you lord for all that you've done and all that you're going to do for us now and always is my prayer in jesus name amen 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 uh, tonight's topic is um our discussion is a light oh sorry the, the word, word the light. word the word, word a light. A light. And our verse is taken from Psalms 119, 105, yes. which says, Thy word, word is a is lamp unto my feet, feet and a light, light unto my path. path. I know that most of you should know that. If you don't, then um, you go and look it up. It's in Psalms 119, 105, a wonderful verse. Amen. 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 Talking about God's word. Through his word, we are able to know our path yes. in, our, in our life, our purpose. Yes. We have a mission. If you want to know your purpose, all you need to do is open the word open as God to reveal it to you. All right? I like um, this scripture. I like this scripture verse because it just simply reminds us the power of God's word. You know, sometimes we take the word for granted mm -hmm. and we read it when we want and we, you know, we do what we want, but the word has power. Really and as, as long as we know or we understand the power of God's word, we will have a brighter path. Mm -hmm. You know, many times we try to figure out which direction to take, which one, where to turn. But if we only open the word of God, mm -hmm. we will realize the direction, the path Amen. will seem brighter Amen. in which the way, the way the Lord wants to right. lead us. There's something very interesting, Sister Chantel, when it comes to God revealing his word to you. Yes. You know, when you open the Bible, God will reveal um, his truth. But there's something interesting about it. Um, in order for you to receive continual, in, in order for that to continue to happen, to be revealed, um, the truth to be revealed to you, yes. you must apply it to your life. You read it, you understand it, and you apply it to your life. If you don't apply it to your life, then God has our right to not reveal anything else yeah. to you. So, um, he who receives the first ray of light sent to him and walks in it, bringing his actions into harmony with God's word, will receive more light. That's a promise from God. Yes. That's a promise from God. I remember um, when I first got Bible studies, that's like in 2005, 2006. That's a long, that's a long time. And when they were giving me Bible study, they were asking me if I want to get baptized. And I, I, I told them several times, I said, no, not yet. I want to I wanna know more. And every time they come and give me a Bible study, I feel like, like my head is about to burst because I used to get... I literally used to get headaches and we well i i would just um believe you know in me that it's the enemy trying to to, to um discourage me from continuing yeah. but i continued and i received a lot of knowledge so when i when i when i made up my mind to get baptized i knew what i was doing yes. what i was getting into and praise god with all the struggles and all the pain and suffering that comes with being a christian 
I'm still here. You know? Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's a beautiful testimony, Pastor. I also want to add that when you begin to study the Word of God, like there's a hunger to know more. I'm not sure if you have experienced that. You know, when you, when, when you begin to understand the Word and things are, began, you begin to, things are being revealed, you begin mm -hmm. to have a clear understanding, there's a hunger for the Word of God. You yes. want to learn more. You go back. You know, and so to our viewers at home who may be on the, on the fence whether you should, where they, whether there is any truth in the word. I want to say believe the word of God because it's true. You know, you have many people that say, oh, the man write the Bible and all of that. But tonight we're here to let you know that you can believe, you can trust the word of God. Amen. You know, Amen. We, we have tested it. Mm -hmm. We have tried it. We're living proof that God, God's word is real and God's word has power. Well, let me tell you what the word of God has done for me, Sister Chantel, and to our viewers. What the word of God has done for me when I apply it to my life, it has removed doubt, doubts. Okay. It had, has removed um, discouragement. I no longer have those, those, those feelings. Um, I am still human. I still feel. I still have emotions. But... It's very, very slim. There's a very slim chance that I would get stressed out mm -hmm. like, you know, um, like a normal human being. <laughs> the word actually allows you to be able to, to face the trials that you, will, that you will have in the future. Any situation that would arise, the word has some type of uh, comfort yes. and encouragement to allow you to get through it. Yes. You know, some people, like you mentioned, they take it for granted, but if they only... If they would only spend some time in the world, it would make a huge difference in their lives, Definitely. in the direction and the tra trajectory of their lives. Because, um, like I said, I wasn't always this person, but because of God's word and his, his, okay. his, his knowledge and, and wisdom and, and what I have applied, it has helped me to be where I am today. Amen. Yeah. And the, the, the cool thing about God's word is that every question you may have, Every question you may have, the answer is found in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. you know? Every question you may have, the answer is found in the Word of God. As long as, as, long as uh, the, the questions have to do with your salvation, I believe God will reveal it to you. There, are, there are things that God um, shows you, uh, things that will blow your mind away, but maybe, uh, maybe they don't have to do directly to your salvation, but there are things that will help you to, to believe in his word, right? Yes. But like you said, whatever, you, whatever questions you have, as long as God sees it fit that for you to know the answer, he will reveal it, it to you. Will be revealed. You just have to have a willing heart. Yes. Um, you mentioned also, um, Sister Chantel, that the Bible makes you wiser. Mm -hmm. And that's in Psalms 119.99, which it says, yes. uh, he, the psalmist says, Though through thy commandments has made me wiser than my enemies, mm -hmm. wiser than the enemies, for they are ever with me. He also says, I have more understanding than all my teachers. Mm. I know I have, I, I've had um, experienced this when going to um, primary school. There was a young lady. She was in my class. I think it was in standard one. But they skipped her from standard one to standard two oh, wow. because she was so advanced. Okay. You know, so she probably, probably fits in this category. She knew a little <laughs> bit more than the teachers. You know, he also says that I understand more than the ancient. You know, old people usually believe that they know everything. Mm. They know a lot. Yeah. You can learn from them, right? But they, they don't know everything. And so this also tells you that when you spend time in the Word, the Word will actually um, have you, um, I don't know, maybe talking with wisdom yeah. as if you were old you know yes. <laughs> so um it's good it's good to, to spend time in the word i want for us to linger a little bit on the the whole idea of studying for yourself mm -hmm. you know many times we have uh, we like to listen to sermons and that's good um you have some people who just listen to sermons you know when you're working you listen to sermon but it's very important pastor if you would agree with me to sit and to study Mm -hmm. to read for yourself it's definitely important because then you won't um you cannot blame anybody for, for being deceived yes you know and and in this way you have a personal relationship your your relationship becomes intimate with god mm -hmm. you know because that's what god wants ultimately for you to have a genuine 
intimate relationship with him so that you may reach to the point in your Christianity where you depend completely upon him. So when tragedies happen, you know exactly God is in control. It's for a divine purpose. No matter how terrible it may feel, and many people will not be able to understand this unless you're in the, the shoes, mm -hmm. or unless you've walked with God you know, and, and experienced it. But when it doesn't matter what happens in your life, as long as you are walking with God. And even sometimes when you make wrong decisions, God is still working. You know? But for you to have that reach to that point that you have that intimate relationship because of spending time with the Word of God, you'll be able to understand completely that God is in control. No matter yes. what happens, God is in control. Amen. At the end of the day, it's to save you and Amen. to save those around you. You said a word just now, deceive. Are you saying that at some point I can be led astray if I don't study by myself? You, I'm asking these questions because these you, may be questions or viewers may have. Repeat it again, know? if you study on your own. If you, you said um, you study, study for yourself so you don't be deceived. So there is a possibility I can be led astray if I don't study for myself. Well, there's a danger in not studying on your own, mm -hmm. but there's a danger with our sinful flesh. Yes. Because uh, Proverbs 3, 5, 6 tells you, uh, verse 5 tells you, um, trust in the Lord with all your heart, but lean not on your own understanding. If you study the Bible with a preconceived idea, you go with a preconceived idea, yeah. you will walk away with that same idea. When you study the Bible, you have to re remove or put all that aside, what you have been taught from you are coming up, mm -hmm. the customs, tradition, superstition, mm -hmm. all those things, you got to put that aside. And then you come with an open mind, okay, God, what do you want me to do? I, I believe in, 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 in uh, my family members when they die, they go to heaven. But let me put that aside. Yes. Let's hear what you have to say, right? Um, we, we did a few Bible studies um, uh, this week and last week. And one of the topics were, was... Um, um, what the Bible speaks, what, what the Bible says about God, okay. and we know that there are there is one God, but there's three individuals or beings with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and we we always allow the Bible to reveal it to the person. Yes. We don't say I believe or I think, you know, mm -hmm. I think this is what it means. We always let the Bible speak. Amen. Amen. That's powerful. I'm glad you were able to clear that up because, um, like I said. You have people who may be preaching in a sermon, and the sermon might may not be the correct thing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that's why it's very important for us to study for it's ourselves. Very, it's very important. Write down. I I see some people in church writing down scripture verses. Mm -hmm. You'll be writing down those scripture verses so you can go back. You know, when the mm -hmm. sermon is finished, go back to read through the scripture. We have to studying for yourself is key so that you do not become deceived. Studying for yourself, when you study for yourself, it's an opportunity for the Spirit to, to speak to you through God's Word. That's you right. know? Um, it's key as well to pray before you study. Definitely. Without prayer, you won't be able to understand because you have to allow the Spirit to take over. Mm -hmm. You have to. If you don't pray or you don't allow divine intervention, then all you will all you will receive is superficial information. Yeah. You will read a text and you will take it literally when it's symbolic. You will probably read another text, take it symbolic when it's literal. So all these things uh, come into play when you, when you study. You have to allow yourself to yes. be surrendered to God so that God may reveal to you what the Bible says because he's the author of the Bible. Amen, right? the Holy Spirit. amen, amen. The Holy Spirit is very um, important also because it says that he's the, he's the, um, the Spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. Right? I think it's in John 8.32. It says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set, set you free. free. Now, if you don't allow the spirit of truth to reveal truth to you, then you will forever be deceived. Yes. Yeah. yes. And as we're getting ready to do our first per, se per session for tonight, we want to encourage you, our viewers who are at home, to put your prayer request in the chat. Put your prayer request in the chat, or you could always text us, Pastor. What's the number again? 613-9351. Yes, text us your prayers. I don't I get mixed up <laughs> sometimes. Text us your prayer request so that we can pray for you. Yes, yes. All right, you want, we want to get into be, the we're first. We're going to be uh, having our first prayer session. We're going to be praying for Mr. Orlando. Uh, he's uh, in need of food, clothing, you know, and even a home. So we, we want to ask that you may pray for him. And... I don't know if you have a number for him. Maybe we could um, 
they could call or anything? Okay, yes. we don't have a number for him yet. Yes, but, but he could message us here at right, ATN so. and we'll be sure to, to get back to him. Mr. Yeah. Orlando, in need of food, clothing, and a home. home. All right. We will be praying for you, Mr. Orlando. We also want to pray for those pastors who are in need of jobs. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who are still out of jobs at this time, and so we want to be interceding on your behalf today. Amen. Oh, I remember my, my days, mm. years without a job. That's, yes. not, that's not a good feeling. Yes, yes. Oh, we're going to be praying. Uh, so uh, we want to pray for all the graduates. I uh, want to say um, congratulations, congratulations yes, to all of them. Yes, and I know you have um, your... I have, both of them will be graduating. graduating. One from Ephesus and one from, and she used to go to SDA. Yes. Grace. But we also have Emiliano who will be graduating. Also Elroy. So I just want to big up you guys. Elroy, Emil, and also Gracie yes. from Ephesus, all right? Amen. We also our, want to be praying for the marriages and for broken, broken homes. homes. Amen. We know for that's, marriages, broken homes. Yep, we know the enemy is on a rampant rave right now to tear apart homes. So we want to intercede for marriages and broken homes tonight. Amen. We also want to pray for the young people that, you know, may, may not, may be confounded or maybe yes. they may be confused, you know, um, concerning the Lord, like, mm -hmm. like what you mentioned. Yes. Uh, some of them don't believe in prayer. Some of them don't believe that the Bible is from God and so forth. But we pray that God may be able to reveal something to them or allow something to happen in their lives that will cause them to want to drive close to him. Yes. Amen. yes. So All with right? that, we want to, I want to begin with prayer. Pray with us. Yes. Father in heaven. As we come once again, we give you thanks that we have this platform that we can come to pray for your people. Yes. There's so many people in need of prayer. Lord, we believe that you are the God who answers prayer. And Lord, we ask that you answer these prayers tonight according to your will. We want to first start off praying for Mr. Orlando, who is in need of food, clothing, and a home. Lord, you see these are necessary things for a human being survival. I pray God that you will provide his needs, Lord, according to your will. I pray also that he will be able to find you, as we know with you, you provide everything else. Having you in our lives, everything else is added to all our needs. Father, I pray that you will bless him and keep him wherever he is at this time. Make a way where there seem to be no way. We also want to intercede, Lord, for marriages at this time. Yes, Lord. Father, all those homes that are broken, I pray, God, for your Holy Spirit to intervene at this time. Mend them back together, Lord, and allow these homes to be a happy home. We pray for all the young people, Lord, who are graduating. It's such a happy time. We thank you, Lord, for bringing them through um, this another step of their lives. And as they move on into a new journey, Lord, I ask that you will hold their hands and, Lord, Walk with them every step of the way. Help them, Lord, not to forget how, they, how you have brought them oh, yes. through in the past and how you're going to lead them in the future. Amen. I also want to pray, Father, for those who are in need of jobs. Make a way as well where there seem to be no way. Provide a, a, an open door, Lord, that they could walk into to be able to receive a job to help themselves and to feed their families. We thank you so much for all you've done, Lord, and for these prayers that you're going to answer. It's my prayer in his name. Amen. Amen. Father in heaven, we ask for your guidance. <clears throat> As we continue to pray, Father, help us that we also may surrender our lives to you. We pray for all those who have sent their prayer requests so far, and we ask that you may allow them to uh, receive the, the basic necessities, Lord. We also pray for healing. We also for uh, those who are without jobs, we ask their God that you may be with the young people, uh, those who may not believe in you at this moment, Father. Help them to trust in you, to be able to know that prayer brings power and, and brings understanding. Also, we pray for all those who are graduating, their God, that may you help them to be reminded, their God, that everything they owe to you, and so they may credit you for everything, they may glorify you, Father, for where you have allowed them to reach. And may they place their, continue to place their lives into your hands as you um, further them in their education. We pray that they may be able to be uh, great men and women, Father, in society. And uh, a great help, Father, to 
um, our country of Belize. Thank you for everything that you've done so far. May you continue to bless us in this program. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 The word, the word. I remember um, in, Je in, in John chapter 1, verse 1, where it says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Um, a lot of people don't believe that Jesus was in the beginning with God, but um, as, you, as you mentioned, whenever you want to know the truth, you got to allow the Bible to um, reveal it to you. And we find out that in John chapter 1, verse 14, it explains that it's, it's Jesus, the word became flesh. And it dwell among us. So there's a lot of things that the Bible has that is um is how, how can I put it? Um would 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 blow your mind or, or would allow you to 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 understand that truly the, the word the word of God or the Bible is not uh simply just a book. Yes. You know, it's uh it's 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 the authentic word of God, you know, given to us so that we may be saved. Okay. You know, um, Pastor, we have people who love to read novels. Mm -hmm. They'll spend hours and hours and hours reading, reading novels and love stories. But we want to tell you tonight, our viewers, try reading the Word of God. Yeah. You know, um, it's beyond the novel, everything in there is truth. You know, and it would offer a better edification for you. A novel mm -hmm. just gives gives you. Um, a moment like it's it's just an excitement excitement <laughs> just for emotions but reading the word of god brings more it offers you salvation and truly truly the bible has a lot of uh bestsellers <laughs> right I the agree. bible because you you what you read in the novel definitely you find something even more yes. interesting in the word of god Amen. there are people people's lives are being um displayed in the bible that will that will allow you to know that hey i still have an opportunity i still have hope yeah There's still a chance for me to, yes. to, to 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 be transformed you know and be used by god amen amen yeah. all right moving along now pastor i want to ask if you could remember the day when you first gave your heart to jesus what was that experience like i don't remember the exact day the date i i was i used to think it was 2005 but i saw a video and the date of that video was December 2005, and I, and I was in the video, but I was not an Adventist yet. I wasn't a Christian. Oh, wow. So it's 2006. Okay. But I remember um, it was a, a, a Sunday night. I believe it's a Sunday night. It was the first Sunday night I went to church. First Sunday night. And two of my friends who are from a different denomination, they were the ones who took me to get baptized along with my kids um, mother at that time okay and we were both baptized and it was a very um, overwhelming experience because you know not only you but your partner get get baptized and yes. so um you you and now you you are learning and we we went our first sabbath at Pen Road, which uh, that was Lifeline at that time, and I'm going to tell you the truth. When I went after after the service, I didn't want to return. Mm. Yeah, because of the all the commotion through lesson study. You know, everybody wants to be right. Um, I don't think we do that much now, but back then it was always a huge argument. Oh my! You know, everybody wants to be the one to say the right thing, and sometimes you would say. And somebody just said it in a different way. And it's the same thing. But we get all riled up because everybody We're excited was. about the word of God. Yeah. But when I saw that, I wasn't used to that because I came from a, from a Catholic background yes. where everybody is reverent. Yeah. You know? So when I saw that, I said, this is not the place for me. But thank God, uh, there were two gentlemen, two brothers who spoke to me. Yes. And then they encouraged me. And they, they, they showed me that things like this will happen. Mm -hmm. And that, well, as, as we mentioned before, the word is what will help you. Yes. So when they showed me from the word that these are the things that will happen in the church and we just have to continue to, to um, show people how they should behave yeah. and not get upset because they don't behave right. <laughs> and that helped me. So even today, anything can happen in the church. It really doesn't move me yeah. because I know my purpose. I know my intentions and I know who I, I serve. 
Amen. Amen. I want to quickly share my experience because I know we're coming up on our first break um, or, or we'll break for the, for the program. Mm -hmm. um, when I found the Lord, I, I, was, I was a runner pastor. I, 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 I was constantly running away from God. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a Catholic before and so you know that tradition yeah. from family. You, you, you get right into the tradition and then I went to Canaan High School wasn't my first choice at, at, mm. at, in the beginning and for viewers who may not know Canaan High School is our Adventist high school here mm -hmm. in Belize specifically in the central Belize mission area mm -hmm. and I was like that where in the world is Canaan High School <laughs> and I wasn't pleased at all with his pick but then I remember he was the one who was, who was paying the bill so he has to, he has to choose <laughs> at the chance to choose to no? so I eventually went and I knew it was the Lord who was leading me in the right path um because there was where i found up out about the word because well, we used to always take the word to the I, Catholic I thought church, you were going to say that's where you found shame well that's a part of the story but that's another show <laughs> um you used to always take the bible but we never open it because the, the priest always does the whole yeah, the whole thing the um but here i am now at a school that you the, you actually have a bible class mm -hmm. you know we'll get to open the word and to read the word and i was Mm -hmm. And that goes to show you the power of God's word. When you read God's word, you get a conviction and you need to make a decision um, mm -hmm. for Christ or against Christ. And I want to say because of that um, push from my dad to attend Canaan High, SDA High School, I was able to make a decision for Christ. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say that I'm a part of a an organization you know a very positive organization organization of beliefs in the world but most of all i'm a part of god's god's family you know one that is the word is everything amen you know we, we study studying god's word is a key for spiritual growth amen praise the lord that's the word is very important prayer is very important and it will lead us to have a, a true relationship with god that's amen. what that's what's important having that relationship. When you have that relationship, every other thing that you were confused about, maybe I, I, I don't want to do it, but God says do it, everything will be clear, and you'll be able to show others how to walk Amen. while they feed upon God's Amen. words. Amen. So with that, we take our first break. All right, we're going to go into our, our first break, and we're going to be right back. Don't go anywhere. Everything went dark. We had like no electricity, nothing. All of my classes are online, and that's why it's really difficult to keep up with everything. But you know, I think God calls me in the midst of all of this chaos and noise and I don't know everything. But he does he doesn't compete for just my attention. He competes for my heart. That's why I need to spend time with him in the quiet. And it's so interesting to me that even though I'm with him in just those quiet moments, experiencing him is not quiet. It's so much more, much greater and fulfilling. And that's the fascinating thing. His power is not just bound to those quiet moments, but they give me the trust and strength that I need every day. Accepting to be an adventure means that we are adventures everywhere. At home, at school, at play. Being an adventure means that we are called to be honest, kind and true. To always be like Jesus through and through. This World Adventure Day, on May 21st, 2022, we are calling all adventures to shine for Jesus. We are calling you adventures to be little lights and show others how wonderful our God is and how much he loves us. Go and light up the world, little lights. We can't wait to see you shine on World Adventure Day.
Welcome back to the Hour of Power, the program where we pray for you and with you. We have some exciting news that we want to share with you at this time before we move on into the program. Uh, we want to let you know that this Sabbath we'll be celebrating World Adventures Day. So we want to invite you to join us at 9 o'clock for our Sabbath virtual worship program. Also, on May 29th, we have our first ever ATN Business Expo, and we want to encourage you to come out. We are going to be here at the Tubal Trade and Vocational um, Compound in Ladyville, 10 and 3 quarter miles. Um, come out for a fun day. We have different booths that we will, um, that will offer different services. Um, they'll offer different discounts. Things that you can, you know, purchase as well as we'll have a fun, free kids' corner where the children can come, come and play, have safe, clean fun. Um, it's a family event, Pastor Emil. It's going to be a family fun. Pastor Emil is going to have a booth as yeah. well. I've, you know, so it's going to be a good day. <laughs> might have. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, we'll see next week, next week. Yes, so the, all, of this, all of these and more are happening here at ATN. Just stay tuned. Stay tuned. We, we're, we're constantly having new things coming on board. We also have our new youth show that we've launched on mm -hmm. Tuesday. Youth Come Once Alive. Come alive youth, yes, youth Come alive. alive. And we have an exciting bunch of young people that, you know, they're, mm -hmm. you know, they're really, really appealing to our youth audience. So... Support ATN. Because you support us, we are able to, you know, do things like these. Amen. Yes. Um, the, with the expo, yeah, I, I, will be, I will be having a booth, but um, I want to I wanna, um, ask the viewers, if you have, if you have a, a talent or a gift, yes. you can come and display it. You just need to call in the same number, 613-9351, and you could also maybe send it to, through the, the comments, uh, Messenger or WhatsApp. And let Sister Chantel know that yes. you are interested in a booth and you can display your talent and your gift and you could even, you know, make, make some money on that day. Yes. Because there will be people coming from, from the city, from Ladyville, from Lawrence Bank, from all over, hopefully, to, to, to look at what you, you, uh, you yeah. have, you know, you're displaying and what your, um, your product Amen. is. And you'll be able to maybe... Um, since that, that's, that's a way of advertisement, so when they go back home, if, if they like what they saw, then they will tell somebody else. Amen. And you, you, I, I definitely believe you will be giving them numbers and, and contact numbers and all those things. So come out and, and support because it's a, it's a fundraising it's a fun event, right? For us. So um, what they're charging you for the booth is for fundraising to help us, to help us out here at ATN and all that, right? So yes. come on out and... Call the number. Right? <laughs> Thank you for that, Pastor. I forgot all of that part of the Which very part? important information, <laughs> right? <laughs> all right, moving along now. Let's all get right, back so into our discussion. The word a light. So we, we, we've been talking about the word of God, and um, we mentioned that you we, you got to pray before you read the word of God. That's the, way, that's the only way that you'll be able to understand it, because that's inviting the author of, the, the book of the, the, the Bible, which is the, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you must go with an open mind. You can't go and, and read the Bible and expect to, with a, with a preconceived idea, expecting to get revelation. Yes. You must go with an open mind to receive truth, right? Or new truth, or the truth as it is written in the Word of God. Now, there's a, a gentleman one of the, known as the wisest man in the world, right? Or that has ever lived, okay. apart from Jesus, because we know Jesus is God, right? Mm -hmm. But the wisest human being that has ever lived, his name is Solomon, the, the, the son of, of David. And God asked him what he wanted. He could, have, he could have had riches, he could have had anything that he would, his heart's desire. Mm -hmm. And we find that in 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 9 and, and, and onwards. And it says that he said to the Lord, give me understanding. It says, give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, mm -hmm. that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this, thy so great a people. So he, he was placed in charge of 
a multitude of people, the children of Israel, right? And there were many tribes. And he, coming from a home where David, his father, was, was in, a, in, a, in a sense, uh, a phase of his life, he was like a disgrace. Hmm. But then you would know that, that, that God forgave him and he, he, he made a change. But Solomon was in charge of a great multitude of people, nations of people. And he could have received anything from God because God was telling him, whatever you want. And he said, I want understanding. I want to be able to, I want wisdom so yes. that I may be able to know, distinguish between right and wrong because I have to be the judge of all these people. So when they come to me, I have to know exactly what is good and what is not good so that they may be able to be guided in the right path. Yeah. So uh, what I'm trying to say is that reading the word of God will help you to be, to be able to be a, a better judge or make better judgments yeah. in your life. And especially we who are parents, we have kids and they really need guidance. So Amen. without the Bible in your life, that's the reason why we, our counsels only lead our children into more problems because we are not guided by the Spirit of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. We're going to go into a second um, prayer session. session. Yeah. We have, um, we, we want to pray for a speedy recovery for Mr. Ted Carl. Yes, Ted works with us here. He was a, in a little accident this week. Oh so we my. want to, you know, be praying for a speedy recovery for him. Mm -hmm. um, moving on, he says, we, we, I also want to pray for those, uh, I know we have an increase in the COVID, COVID cases here. Mm -hmm. So we definitely want to be praying for those who have contracted COVID. Um, for a speedy recovery. Amen. I know of, of a few of my friends who, who have it, so we want to be interceding on their behalf. There's actually a person that I, we, we, we were going to give Bible study to, but the person said we won't be able to do it only through Zoom uh -oh. because of the COVID. Yeah, I know he was dying down yeah. first, but it's, it's increasing, so we just have to take, take precautions. We also want to pray for all those mothers who are pregnant, who are about to, you know, to go into labor. We want to ask that God may take them you know into his hands and allow yes. them to have a, a good um, bring the child healthy and a strong safe and, delivery yeah. amen. and a healthy baby as yes. well okay we want to pray for miss rosita who um provides food for mr orlando okay all right so miss that the lord will come to provide for miss rosita so she could amen provide yeah. for him as well also miss barbara in need of silicone is that it silicone feet after amputation mm. and i believe that's probably as a result of diabetes or something but yeah. um we want to pray for her we also want to pray for elder mybit who is the first elder for beautiful beginning yes he um had a surgery oh, wow. so we pray that he may be doing okay also for elder sadasi who um has um a little issue with his eye at times so we want to pray for him too okay? yes so all right let's um take a moment to pray you can Let's pray, pray. Pastor. Almighty and eternal Heavenly Father, we come before you, dear God, because you are our true God. There is no other like you, and so we ask that you, Father, may take control of all these petitions, all these requests. We know that you know exactly what they need, what they're going through, and so we ask that you may grant them the desire of their hearts and the, the desire of their petitions. We pray, Father, you may be with the family members, that they may be able to support them, encourage them, pray for them too. We pray, Father, that you may watch over all the mothers who are pregnant. We know that every pregnancy, dear God, it is said that every pregnancy is a risk. It's a very high risk, regardless if there's complications at the beginning or not. But bringing a child into this world is never an easy task. And so we want to ask that you may be with all the mothers, that you may help them, dear God, especially not only to bring that child here into this world healthy and strong, but that they may take it into their responsibility, into their hands, along with the, the spouse or the partner, that they may be able to raise that child in the fear of the Lord, so that we may be able to um, have men and women of God, Father, in this world, working for you and, and spreading the gospel. We pray, Father, for those who have COVID, who have um, been diagnosed with the virus, we pray that you may watch over them and help them, that they may do whatever it takes. Yes. Uh, drink whatever needs to be drunk and eat in Lord so that they may be able to get better and, and strengthen their immune system. We pray Father for the, uh, our entire country and, and we, we hear that the COVID um, 
that it is increasing in all the numbers. And so we want to ask that you may take it into your hands, Father. We know that you are in control, and so we trust in you. We depend upon you. We place our lives into your hands. We also ask, Father, that you may be with ATN Network. We ask that you may continue to provide the finance that they need, provide the human resource that they need, especially um, for the, the, the monitors and the camera and the, and the audio and all these things. We also thank you, Father, for Chantel and all the rest, for Jamima and all those who have different programs like myself, um, Tracy, um, um, Neil, and um, her, her husband, Shane Neil. And all those, Father, I, 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 I hope I don't um, offend anybody by not, by not saying their names. But Father, every single individual, we want to ask that you may please continue providing and blessing them as they come each day. Uh, protect them that they may reach here safely at the ATN network and bless the programs, especially the ones with the youths, Father, that has been launched. We pray that more youths may be uh, engaged in it so that they may be a positive influence in school, in college, in high school, wherever they may go. Thank you, Father, for everything that you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Almighty Father, we give you thanks again for um, this opportunity we have to pray on air. Lord, we know that this opportunity we have is not one that is, is quite popular so we are happy lord that you have given us wisdom to have this program to pray as we are praying now we want to lift up ted at this time father you've seen the accident that he has been in and lord the pain that he is in i ask god that you touch his knees lord and restore them back to, to full capacity lord Father, we ask that you will help him not to become weary, Lord, but to believe that you can heal him and bring him, bring him back here to us at ATN, Lord. Yes. Pray that you can bless him and keep him. We also want to pray for Miss Rosita, Lord, that you will bless to help Mr. Orlando. I pray, God, that you will continue to provide her every need, Lord, that she will be able to continue to, to be a servant for you. Lord, we also want to pray, Lord, for all those pregnant mothers at this time. Father, as they're at the end of their, as their end of the journey, Lord, of, of bringing forth a beautiful life, Lord, a young child, we ask, Lord, that you will give them safe delivery at this time. It may be a scary thing, but help them to feel your presence near. Lord, we also want to pray for that sister, Lord, that needs a prosthetic, that needs a silicone, Lord. I ask God that you will provide for her at this time, that she will, be, she will be able to get the help that she needs. Lord, whatever we have failed to ask, we continue to ask in your name. Is my prayer in Jesus' name? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, I was asked to, to, to speak to the Spanish community. Yes, to the, to please those. do. <laughs> Let's see if I can do so. Um, para todos los que están en sintonía de habla hispana, les damos gracias por, por estar mirando y, y orando por este, este canal. Y esperamos que compartan el, este programa con sus contactos, con sus familias, sus amigos, para que ellos puedan ser bendecidos. Sabemos que muchos que hablan español también entienden inglés. Entonces, para los que no entienden, um, los, que, los que están en sintonía, se los pueden traducir o, o como sea, para que ellos también puedan ser bendecidos. ¿okay? Eh, queremos eh, orar para, para ustedes también, eh, si nos permiten, y también en casa, oren por nosotros. ¿okay? Amen. Querido Amen. Padre, te damos gracias por este día y te damos gracias por todos los que están en sintonía en este momento. Te pido que estés con su familia, con ellos individualmente también. Sabemos que tienen muchas dificultades, Señor. Y te pedimos que ellos puedan sentir ese, ese, esa ayuda, Señor, de ti eh, y que los puedas guiar para que puedan leer tu palabra, abrir tu Biblia y que puedan recibir esa, ese entendimiento y, y sabiduría que necesitan para hacer buenas, buenas decisiones. Te pido que te, tomes control de su vida, de su situación y que ellos puedan ver tu mano trabajando sus vidas. Gracias por todos, Señor. Los que están enfermos, los que están enfermos de COVID, los que están padeciendo de alguna enfermedad que, que ya, ya años lo tienen, te pido, Señor, que pongas tu mano de sanidad sobre ellos. También los que tienen dificultades o, o uh, 
financieras o con dinero. Te pido que tú puedas ayudarnos. Los que no tienen trabajo, Señor, por favor, uh, abre una, una puerta de oportunidad para ellos, ellos, para que ellos puedan proveer para su familia. Bendícenos, Señor, hoy y siempre. En el nombre de Cristo Jesús te lo pedimos. Amén. Amen. Someday I'll be able to speak Spanish faster. I'm praying Some, for it. <laughs> someday I'll be able to speak it fluently. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're talking about the word, the Bible, how important it is. Yes. Uh, we also about Solomon. And the most thing the story of is that we normally strive to get attain objects, things, possessions, yes. property which is not bad in itself. But what we should strive to get before all that, and it would make uh, uh, it more, much easier to attain if we would seek wisdom and knowledge from God. Amen. Wisdom and knowledge. Because even when you make a loan or when you try to get something, you have to count the cost. You have to allow yourself to sit down, think, and say, okay, can I afford it? What... what uh, What, what, what are the pros and the cons? Am I, am, in, in, in five years from now, if this happens, what is, will be the situation, you know, if I'm, if I'm in debt, or, or whatever the situation may be, but always seek, do what Solomon did. Ask God for wisdom and understanding. And that's where you get it, you get it from, from the Word of God. Amen. I want to also add that the Bible contains many promises, mm -hmm. you know, that Christ tells us you know and these promises are there not for us just to to read and just to overlook but they're there for us to claim mm -hmm. so there are promises in the bible that we can be claiming can you imagine the amount of blessing you may be missing by not claiming the promises that are inside of mm -hmm. inside the word you know yes. so i want to i want to speak to our viewers again take the time to read god's word let's find out what these promises are these promises are true Christ tells us that if we take the time to study, mm -hmm. you know, if we do as he, you know, desires for us to do, he will win, open the windows of heaven. Blessings. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the amount of blessings you've been missing because you haven't been opening up the word to read the promises that are inside? The read most, God's word. The most uncertain thing in life is life. Yes. That's the most uncertain thing. Um, the only certain thing is death. Everybody knows they will die someday. Yeah. But life is uncertain. And so you need something to hold on to in order to get you through it. You need something to be able to face your trials that you will face that you don't know which one it, it will be. Mm -hmm. You might have all the money in the world, but you may have some type of illness. You need something that will comfort you to know that, hey, there's still hope. Yes. Regardless if, I, if the money can, can, you know, can cure me. You need to know that if you have, you're in a relationship and, and it doesn't work out, you need, to know, you need to hold on to something that will give you hope that, look, this is not the end. There's life beyond this. You know, you need something that will give you that hope, sufficient hope, that you will not end up committing suicide or getting stressed out or, or becoming an alcoholic or, or a drug addict or just wasting your life because it didn't work. Do you understand? Yes. You need something that will hold you, and that's the Word of God. The Word of God is power. The word of God is Jesus living in your life, guiding you every step of the way. Amen. You know, and it's very interesting, Sister Chantel, that even though there is power in the Bible and there is and 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 we serve a powerful God that wants to transform our lives, we still don't allow Him to do so. Yes. We still want to do our own thing. It's amazing how we put put the only being that wants the best for us. And we hold on to some people or some things that yeah. really have no, no, no type of um, benefit for us. Especially That's in quite our unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate because listening to a friend or listening to a family member, they may be able to share wisdom, but they themselves need wisdom. Mm -hmm. So why not go to the God who gives wisdom? And you know when he speaks, it's truth. Mm -hmm. You know, friends and family may deceive you in what they're saying. They may not be genuine. You don't know the heart. You don't know their intention. But you know, when you read God's word, Pastor, for yourself, you could, be, you could put your head on the block mm -hmm. and know that what God says is what he will do. Exactly. And we, we usually resort to trusting in our own intelligence, like yeah. we mentioned in, in Proverbs 3.5. 
our own intelligence, our own abilities, and we seek to try to get all these things that the world offers, doing our own, and then we don't give God the glory. Yes. Right? And then what happens? We're not happy at the end of the day. We, we're not, uh, we don't experience that full joy that only God can, can mm -hmm. give simply because we don't allow his word to be a part of us. Yeah. I believe it's in Psalms 119 um, also that um, David says that in order for him not to sin against God, he, ha he has allowed the, the word to abide in him. Right? Yeah. And so by simply allowing God's word to, to be a part of our lives, we will also be able to be transformed. Our vile character Amen. will be transformed. Amen. We will want, we will abhor or hate sin at some point in, the, in time, you know, which, which is what we need, what, what this world needs. Yes, yes. Well, I want, I want the transform, transforming power of God to dwell in my life, and I'm sure our viewers would want to. So we, we're going to go into another prayer session, and we want Amen. to share that number again, 613-9351. Um, and if you'd like, you can also put your prayer request in the comment section so that we can pray for you. Amen. Amen. Okay, right, our so first we... prayer request, we want to be praying for mothers who are struggling to discipline their children. This is quite hard, right? It's quite I have, hard. I have, a, I have a solution for that. Okay. Read the book Child Guidance. Okay. The book Child Guidance will tell you everything you need to know about raising a child and how they should be obedient and how your your word as a parent should be law and, and if so you don't so. have the, the book child guidance just you, read the word you could also download the, it yeah you download it but the because, bible also tells us it will it will send you to the bible yes right? it will direct you right back to the bible um that will help us to know how to rear your child in the right Amen. way we also want to pray for those uh small businesses Again, we encourage you to come out to the expo. Yes. Small businesses. I believe there will be some people here they will. that will be able to help you and direct yes. you on the correct path financially. Um, you know, so to open your small business. So we want to pray for all those small businesses and also for everyone with their life plans and visions. All the goals that you have, we want to pray for all those. I yes. have a few of my own. Likewise. So I want you guys to pray for me. Yes, amen. And our last... Um, prayer request for all those theology students, those students who are um, starting to become pastors. Mm -hmm. my, my husband is one of them, so Amen. I need, we need he and his, him and his class needs a whole lot of prayer because it's very intense. You know, and I'd like to add generally it's students on a whole. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're at the end of the semester, we're at the end of the school year, and this is crunch time. I remember. So, can you imagine? I remember, I remember saying to you, um, Pastor's wife. Wow. And you, <laughs> and, and you did not fully, you were not fully convinced. Oh. But um, now that you mention it, say, no, you look like you're fully oh, convinced. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Pray for me as well. <laughs> Pray for me as well. Pastor's wife. Amen. So um, we're going to take this time now to pray, intercede. Um, for these prayer requests and we ask that you pray along with us let Amen. us pray father we give you thanks again that we could come boldly to your throne yes. father we come because we know you're not going to turn us away we come because we know you are the only person we can go to that can answer these prayers according to your will as we come we bring before you lord all those students who are at the end of the semester lord trying to turn in this assignment trying to do that project trying to finish up things lord for graduation or to finish the semester lord give them the strength at this time we know how hard it may may seem but help them lord to look at the the end yes. help them to look at the the chance they'll have to have a better life lord to improve themselves i i pray lord that you will give them that last bit of strength that they need to finish that final exam or that final assignment their final project give them understanding and wisdom clarity of mind lord that they'll be able to do their best and in the end lord i pray that they'll be able to look up and to say lord you have brought brought me through i pray god that you will bless each one at this time we also want to continue to pray lord for all those mothers or parents who are struggling to discipline their child. Help them to remember, Lord, that this child is yours. 
and you have placed them in, in, in their care or in our care to um, rear and to bring up in the right way. Help us, Lord, to seek your word, Lord, to, to know how to raise these children to be good citizens of, of, of the country and most of all to be servants of yours. I pray as well, Lord, for, for the many other requests, Lord, that were, were asked of us tonight. I pray, God, that you will answer them according to your will. It's my prayer in his name. Amen. 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 There's a, there's a text in uh, Jeremiah 29, 11 that says, For I know the thoughts that I think Amen. toward you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. And if I may, I want to read it in the uh, Common English Bible version. It says, I know the plans I have in mind for you, Amen. declares the Lord. They are plans for peace, not disaster, to give you a future filled with hope. Amen. Amen. That's what God wants for every single person that is viewing. Every single individual, every young person, even, even us who are still young, you know. God has a plan for us, and in His plans, it is to prosper us. Amen. To allow us to have a, a, a future filled with hope. Yes. Filled with hope. You don't have to continue feeling discouraged. You don't have to continue feeling hopeless. There is hope. In the Word of God. Amen. Powerful. Amen. Powerful. And with that, we just want to thank you so much for being with us through our program today. We had a wonderful, wonderful discussion. Um, I, want, I, I was going to say, Pastor Emil, thank you for joining me on set, but you're <laughs> the host, right? So you yeah. um, should be doing the reverse. <laughs> I forgot this saying, something about it, it never dies. Yeah. But hard, hard what? I forget it, but. Yeah. <laughs> But um, you always you're always hosting, so I think it's it's still yeah. it's inherent now. So don't don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Sister Chantel, for filling in for your husband, Amen. Pastor Shane, future pastor. Amen. And uh, we we are glad that you joined us. We pray that you were blessed. And so we see you guys next week here on 18 at 6, same time, same place. Amen. God bless you. As a non-profit organization, the Adventist Television Network solely relies on your financial support. By partnering with us through a monthly donation, you will help us to continue to fulfill the mission in taking the gospel into all the world. For more information, please call 613-9351 or email us at ATNFIN at cbm.belizeunion.org Thank you for your prayers and support of the ATN ministry and together we may hasten the soon coming of our Lord Jesus Christ.